never been kissed. She starts out with man face, and then she's cute by the end. Oh. But in the beginning, I mean, that was that movie, I, I think she had the debate with the producer, because in that movie, she was supposed to be cute. And the director is like, I need you to have man face in the beginning when you're the clumsy <laughs> reporter trying to fit in, and then we're going to give you a makeover, and then everyone's going to fall in love with you, and you're going to be cute. So they actually asked her to bring the man face out in the beginning, and I'm wow. sure they had to pay her like an extra 100 Gs or something. <laughs> um so but but so she ended that cute and then she had a huge couple of years of man face because she only did voice acting for the next three movies because she knew she's like I have fucking man face so so she did voice acting for all of the other reindeer Titan AE <laughs> uh. and then and then and then she was like all right that counts so then she did Charlie's Angels and then she was good looking again wait 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 I did not I did not think she was good looking in Charlie's Angels no 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 hold the phone hold the phone. Charlie's Angels won. She was good looking in. I haven't gotten to two yet. Hold on. Then she did Fred. Then she did Freddie Got Fingered. Man face. She was only in there for like thirty seconds. Then she did Riding in uh, Cars with Boys. Cute. Then she did Charlie's Angels two. Full throttle. Epic. Epic. Man face. Well, er- everything That's... about that movie was man face. But I mean, at that point, people were like, "Holy crap! Did Drew Barrymore hold off for more money and they replaced her with the man with the wig?" <laughs> But then she follows it up with 50 First Dates with Adam Sandler, and she's kind of cute in it. Then she did Fever Pitch and freaking Man Face and Fever Pitch, man, when she's sitting at the Boston Red Sox games with Jimmy Fallon. Holy crap. You know, maybe, it's, face. maybe it has to do with her, her co-stars. I mean, if she's next to, like, a, a skinny, not-so-great-looking co-star in, like, a, a horrible city like Boston, I mean, the Man Face just comes out. No, no, no. See, I'm going I'm to crush your theory right off the bat. Okay. Because then the next movie she does is Music and Lyrics, where she's cute, and that has Hugh Grant in it, who's, who's gross. Oh, that's so, true. That's true. So she should have had Man Face in it, and she didn't. Which, by the way, Music and Lyrics, the first five minutes, they do a perfect, perfect parody of an 80s pop song video. Really? Oh, my God. Go watch the first five minutes of Music and Lyrics. If you watch one minute more, shoot yourself. <laughs> 